Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Friday, March 22nd, 2024, Friday of the fifth week of Lent. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 10, verses 31 through 42. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are God's? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works." so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection You can feel the tension growing in each of the passages in the Gospel of John this week as we get closer and closer to Palm Sunday and the events of Holy Week. I'm sure that Jesus' disciples could feel this tension and were concerned for their master's safety. Jesus never promised anyone that following him would be easy or that their lives would work out perfectly. In fact, This point is underscored at the beginning of today's gospel when Jesus' opponents pick up rocks to stone him. But by the end of the reading, they want to arrest him, and Jesus seems perplexed at their hostility. He says, I have done many good works for you to see. For which of these are you stoning me? Violence can often be mindless and irrational, as we all know only too well. But on this occasion, Jesus was able to elude those who would do him harm. However, the time would come when he would be handed over and put to death in spite of his many good works. Jesus reveals God's love even to his enemies. He washed the feet of his betrayer Judas. He prayed for his executioners, asking God to forgive them. Jesus' passion and death, even more than his life, revealed a love that was constant even in the face of hostility and rejection. Jesus' passion and death reveals God's love for all humanity, a quality of love which is very different to any human love. Lent is a perfect time to reflect on that love. It's a season for us to strip away the distractions and misconceptions that cloud our vision, to focus on the truth of Jesus' identity, and to deepen our relationship with God. Speaking of a relationship with God, I'm going to stop right here and invite you that if you're listening to this, maybe you did or didn't have the best Lent. Maybe you didn't give up something, or you didn't do something extra to find Jesus during this sacred season. But maybe you're also thinking that it's too late. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not too late. You have over a week to get ready for this Easter season. You can pray, you can fast, you can give alms. 
you are always invited to participate in the works of God, to see firsthand the presence of the divine in our life, and come to know Jesus in a very personal way. If you've been doing it, keep on trucking. But if you haven't, I challenge you to start today to draw closer to the mystery of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. I'm going to leave you with this quote from St. Augustine. He says, To fall in love with God is the greatest romance. To seek Him, the greatest adventure. To find Him, the greatest human achievement. And so today, let's pray and embark on this greatest adventure to seek and find God during this upcoming Holy Week. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.